guys. I'm going to do the Yin Yang uh, Twin Flame read because I tried to do it again. I don't know what is going on with my phone and my technology. Um, it says that I'm, I'm out of space, but I'm not. So I'm not entirely sure. So I'm going to do the reading live. So let's take a look, okay? We're going to do this all live, um, like face to face, because I felt like there was a need to. So you guys got to see my setup a little bit, and you'll get to see the cards that come up. So we're going to take a look at Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Energy, Soul Connections, Whatever it is that you are watching this for, this is your weekly update. We're going to take a look at Divine Masculine Energies first. Then we're going to take a look at Divine Feminine. There we go. And this is where you guys see where things fall on the ground every time. All right. Masculine Energies, surrendering to the divine. So that's really what's happening right now, okay? Masculines are learning to surrender to the divine. Feminine Energies, what's going on with Feminine Energies? Okay, we have a new start is coming. So feminines are really feeling, um, turn that down a little bit. Feminines are really uh, coming into a new vibration. Um, and when I was recording earlier, this is kind of like what is happening, what I've been feeling with Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energies. I love how the colors are also very complementary. Okay, we have, you know, purpley sky colors and we have more pinkish love colors here. So when I was pulling earlier, um, Spirit was showing me that the feminines are really healing very rapidly, especially since the age of Aquarius has come through. This is the energy. If the ancestors will be surprised. There's deep uh, winter solstice, which is what we're in, which is deep reflection. Obviously, I needed to do this online, um, face to face, so you guys could see me. And um, I was seeing that Divine Feminine Energy is really stepping up her game, moving into a new vibration, really da, 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 really, really quick ending patterns. And Divine Masculine Energy is really learning how to listen more to spirit, listen more to what is coming up with the energies um, that they're experiencing. There was a lot of ancestral, I'm just recalling what spirit's bringing through, what was being shown. Um, a lot of like patterns that maybe in thinking spirit is saying in their sexuality and maybe what they've been conditioned to. Um, if you listen to the channel teaching with the yoni and the lingam, there's a lot of that information that's uh, coming through lately as well in regards to what is sexuality, what is uh, the force of creation in order to, you know, merge and come together. And masculine energies are really coming into a place of that kind of reflection right now. And divine feminines. Have already I really feel um, moved into this newer place or they're really on the brink of moving into this newer place. Sorry guys, I'm like super boiling hot. Maybe I should just take off my sweater but I have the window open so but that's the wind comes in and I'm screwed. So <laughs> I just get hot when I channel. It's like whoo! All right. Let's take a look here. What is going on with masculine energy? Really surrendering to, surrendering to the divine, releasing anything that is not serving masculine energy. I'm sort of light, you guys. So yeah, a lot of fire here, illumination here, divine feminine energy in correspondence to that. We have, oh, that came up in the last one, Gaia. There's the mother energy right there, nurturing, knowing self. Um, trusting in her intuition, trusting where she's being guided, letting old things fall away. Let's take a look at the shadow aspect that they're working with right now. Yeah, masculine is really coming into this fiery place. I feel there's a, a lot of shifts that are happening and really, and these masculines are really kind of sitting there just really observing what is happening in their life. We'll take a moment to on the ground because it's what it looks to do, right? Uh, yeah, blinded to pain. This is 13, which is transformative. It's almost like that numbing place that we come into with ourselves. Um, that's the reflection place that's there for the two. For I'm gonna stop saying twins because it's not just twin blood connections. Um, I'm getting out of the labels, you guys. I can't deal with the whole label thing really irritating. So what is happening here between, and I'm, but I'm about the yin-yang balance, so let's just stick with yin-yang. So what's happening with the yin-yang balance is they've both been numb to pain and blinded to it. 
Um, divine feminine energy is really coming into a place of, I don't want to be in this place of um, complete pain anymore. I just don't. Let's see, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? What cards do you want me to pull? Yeah, let's choose the tarot. That's for feminine, this is for masculine. Let's take a deeper look at some masculine energy here. So let's see what patterns are coming up for divine masculine because there's really, um, there's in a complete place of surrendering and releasing. They're going through massive patterns of codependency is what I'm seeing here. All right. What is going on for masculine energy spirit? Thank you. What is going on for masculine energy? Yeah, so AMSR 2021 predictions are going to be coming out. Just give me a little bit. My technology, I've been getting back into my energy and culture with my own processing with the new age of Aquarius. All right, let's take a look. We're going to spirit is telling me to look in the bottom. So we have, yeah, they're blocking off any kinds of like communication right now. We have the page of swords in reverse with the seven of swords. Um, not, you know, knowing that they're still wearing a mask, see, sun in reverse, not fully coming into their full illumination yet. Things not moving chariot in reverse, justice in reverse, betrayal. So what I'm getting here is um, they're completely surrendering any old patterns here. They are aware of injustices in their life. They are aware why things haven't moved on. They are aware of a mask that they're wearing. They are aware that they need to of where they're blocked. So these masculines aren't fully in the dark. These masculines know what's happening. What is going on here with my masculine? Yeah. As I say that, the tower. So yeah, the tower is here. So yeah, these masculines are completely aware of what is happening. They're releasing. And so what are they doing as they're releasing? They may not be in communication because of this. You know, they're dealing with a lot of ancestral wounds. Yeah, they're up at night about maybe past karmic situations. They're in pain, toxicity that's holding them back from their ten of cups. So they've completely awakened to karmic situations. Um you know, with the past that they're that they've been defending it's bringing a lot of pain a lot of release but there's a massive tower that's happening right now with the devil which means that if there's anything that was formed out of attachment is completely coming down we're going to take a look at karmic energies as well we have three of cups in reverse so that's also about ending friendships ending celebrations canceling events you know they could have been going out family or doing birthdays or whatever the case may be and the spirit's like no nope, that's done now too. So let's take a look at feminine energy. So these masculines, what came up in the last read that didn't work work with the two fives, five of swords, and five of wands. So there's a lot of change that are happening. But these masculines are completely aware of the change. So no need to worry about that. They are completely aware. They know how they need to step up their game. Um, some of them might be blinded to pain and may be numbing in some ways. Feminines as well. Okay, but they're also aware of the patterns that they've used in the past, and those aren't working anymore either. So the, all of that is also in progress. So let's take a look at divine feminine energies. So divine feminine energy. A new start is coming here for divine feminine. She's nurturing herself. Divine feminines are really in a place of loving self. Um, and really connected to the earth. I love that that came up also in the other read as well as this one. So it's really good. So let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. Oh, imbalance. So anything that's imbalanced, the divine feminine is untrapping herself fully of. Okay, closing, not giving to anything that is not in her in her path. Um, look at this. Any karmic situation, she's being very clear about of uh, letting all of that go. So feminine is not playing. Not playing. Let's take a look. What is going on with feminine energy right now with this new start spirit? For the collective. Thank you. Yeah. Ending anything. Wow. Lots came out actually. Whoa. Lots, lots, lots. Okay. We have the five of pentacles. Okay. So this five of pentacles be abandoning things that aren't working, right? Being left out in the dark. I deal with that. I deal with anything that's being left out. Unstable masculine energy. King of Pentacles in reverse, any injustices and in, uh, justice in reverse, which we came up on the bottom of the deck. For Divine Masculine, they are aware of any injustices. Feminine Energy is also aware of the injustices and saying, uh, yeah, I deal with that and I'm abandoning it. I'm, I'm dealing, 
I'm <laughs> taking off. I'm getting out of the cold. And she and feminine energy is okay being like that. They don't care. Ending anything that's traditional, any kind of commitment. So I see feminines really pulling away from divine masculine energies and owning her power, really knowing what her power is all about. We got balance here, self-love, harmony, peace, patience with the three of swords in reverse, ending anything that is completely painful. Let's take a look at the energies in between because that's actually quite fascinating to me. What am I going to use? What am I going? You guys get to see all my cards. <laughs> so many cards. It's like, what do I choose? Um, <coughs> I don't know what I want. Yeah, let's do this one. In the middle of energies. Let's take a look. I do smudge everything before I start, guys. I have like two shelves here and I've got more on this too. <laughs> so, but it is what And then my own deck. I'm going to be having my own deck. I'm so excited about that. Um, they're not for sale yet. I'm going to be using them for a while, see how they play out and see if there's any changes I need to make. But let's see. What is going on with the masculine and feminine yin and yang energies in between, please? Spirit, what is going on with the self-reflection and this numbing? What is it? Spirit wants me to take a look at the bottom. We have a fool in reverse. So not taking a leap of faith of anything, mostly the masculine energy, came of pentacles upright because masculine is dealing with heartbreak, okay? heartbreak in reverse, okay, and also putting an end to things. So masculine is very much transforming. I feel this pain that, oops, this pain and whatever is happening with the karmic energy, sorry, I always move around guys when I read, maybe it's better that I just read this way. Um, yeah, and massive transformation, where it's ever happening with endings and ending old patterns and moving into the new vibe, feminine is already mostly completed a lot of that okay these masculines are really on the brink of it and really um coming up it's like they're following in par with each other so let's see what is going on in the uh energies between the two huh. awakening tower the page of wands and the eight of swords in reverse okay so massive tower moments that are happening, okay? Getting on a brand new path and ending any form of entrapment. So that's really what's happening, okay? Let's take a look at what is going on with the masculine towards the karmic energies. Now, karmic energies, you guys, are not necessarily a person. They can be addictions. They can be um, family members. They can be work. They can be whatever it is. So I'm just using very generic terms because they don't you want to get more specific in your own situation you can book a reading again all that info is down below because i don't open up my readings anymore as i was getting so booked with readings it was just really draining so i do do coaching sessions uh you get 90 minutes all that info is again down below they're very transformative i'm warning you if you work with me i will bring up your stuff <laughs> i will but it's in a good way it's in a good way okay let's take a look at karmic energy so yeah, let's see. What is going on with masculine energies, the emotional body with the masculine energies? What is going on with the masculine? These are the Wounded uh, Warriors deck by Made for Love. What is going on with the masculine energies in their emotional body? That they are currently transmuting. Spirit so saying that they are transmuting it. We're going to take a look at the bottom and we're going to see what is going on. Addiction, drugs, okay, could be alcohol. That's what I was saying before. This is the karmic, okay, energies. Covenant with the dark. So they're dealing with a lot of their dark patterns right now. Look at this, addiction, alcohol. Some of them may be drinking. Yeah, so they're really looking at their coping mechanisms and how they're moving into like a brand new vibration. Um, like I know my addiction has been cannabis and I had stopped for a long time, but when I go through, I find my own growth process I use to go back into that to sort. Now, for me, I do it in a medicinal way. Guys, everybody has their stuff, okay? But um, it depends on how you use medicine, all right, plant medicine. Um, if you're doing it on a, every day to escape, that, that's a, another issue. But if there's a way um, that you can use it to go into the mind patterns, I'm not saying I'll call it I am down with that plants and you use them in a way to go into your traumas and to go into that to release that's a completely way of helping and the plants will help you when you have that intention if you don't they're going to make you gorge out and pick out and like do whatever i just want to bring that up um abandonment issues 
So yeah, they're dealing with massive abandonment issues, addiction, and this is their connection to the dark energies, and they're, they know that they need to heal this. Let's see what's going on with masculine energies towards karmic energies. Yes. So a lot of these masculines may not be even dealing with a person. I'm not even feeling with some of them because I've got the queen of wands there, so maybe some of them, but mm, this is, uh, woo, creation and recovery, okay? Yeah. Whatever they want to create is being affected by their addiction to the drugs. And they're completely aware of this addiction. They know they're in recovery with their covenant with the dark, okay? So they're in recovery mode. Addiction, please, spirit. Oh, my God. Why did they drop it? Stop. Stop dropping it. Prayer. They're praying for their health. They don't want to fall back into patterns. But I'm going to tell you guys, with addiction, okay? And if you need help through addictions and stuff, I deal with all of this stuff, guys. Um, but it's all from the energy standpoint. You have to understand that with addic addictions, you have to con you have to go into your addictions with a mindful process. You have to be present in the addictions. You can't zone out while you're in the using aspect of it. You've got to be completely aware and connecting to your body and connecting to your spirit while you're in it. <laughs> and a lot of people don't want to do that. A lot of people want to bring God into their addictions, even if that's sex addiction, alcohol addiction whatever it is, usually we have a behavioral pattern that's attached to an addiction. So I work with that too. So if you need help with that, let me know. So let's take a look at abandonment issues, masculine energy with abandonment issues, victim mentality, right? And that's what keeps the cycle of shame going. That's what keeps um, addiction patterns going. It's, a, you know, it's, a, it's affecting their, their way to create their new vibration. So these masculines are completely aware of this. Let's take a look. I feel that they're healing. There is a, a group of them that are healing. So let's pull out to these cards over here. Let's take a look at these ones. I want you to pull out the numerology deck. So I'm going to do that one after. So let's take a look. Let's clarify. Because Spirit is saying a lot of these masters are on the brink of just about closing off this cycle. Hey, it's not to say, like, if they're addicted to alcohol, they're never going to drink again. That's a whole misconception about, you know, um, AA and stuff, but I'm not saying that it, I'm not dismissing it, that it does work, okay, for some people, but for highly awakened beings, not really, and you know why? AA, it just doesn't work, it's because it says that you can never do anything again. Highly evolved beings, if you tell a highly evolved soul you can't do something, guarantee they're going to want to do it. So, <laughs> you got to get deeper than that, you know what I mean? All right, let's take a look here. What is going on with creation force energy here? Um, masculines are seeing it very clearly, okay, two of swords in reverse with the magician with the queen of cups, okay, so what I'm getting here is this masculine energy is very much aware, they see clearly where their karmic addictions are affecting, they're used to manifest, um, they know they're, they're completely aware, they're trying to tame that ego, they know they keep returning to the same aspect, eight of cups in reverse, so they know that they're seeing the pattern, but they're very clear of the pattern and they're seeing the pattern and what, how they're feeling in this pattern. What are they doing to change it, spirit? Yeah, they know that they're unhappy in this. So let's see how what they're doing to change it. What are they doing to change this pattern in the mind? And this is all mind stuff. So I've seen these masculines are caught in a psychological loop right now in regards to where uh, they need to return. They keep returning to this addiction. They keep returning. They see it clearly. They are, they're gaining enlightenment through it. That's why they're very close. Because the more that you bring spirit and awareness into your addictions, the more that you're able to cut it. You know, that's why I don't really smoke weed as much as I used to. Because I'm realizing while I'm in it what's happening. I, I stopped smoking cigarettes that way too, guys. Talk to yourselves when you're having a cigarette. Smokers out there, if you're having a cigarette, talk to your body. How do you how do you feel right now, my body? How do you feel? Most likely, your body is not going to respond well, and it's those that embodiment of the energy, bringing the energy into the feeling place in your body your cells will react and you'll become much more aware of your body as well, okay? So let's take a look here. What is going on with this addiction? So what are masculines aware of that they know that they need to heal with this, with the karmic energies, with addiction? Look at this, karmic completion. They're gaining pride. So a lot of these masculines are really coming to the end of ending of ending that. And they're like, I'm so proud. You know, when a kid is like proud, it's like you have that inner child, right? It's like, oh, I'm so proud of myself. And so I feel like they want the divine feminine to be proud of them. 
All right, let's take a look at their feeling place. They're in a place of recovery right now. Yeah, let's take the bottom again. Sorry, like, let's do this again. So they're in a place of the covenant with the dark. We all have these things with the dark energy, you guys. And unfortunately, we fall in consciousness here. Okay, there's a, a dark grid work first before there is a light grid work. Okay, so you've got to kind of like know where you're connecting to. You got to know who, how do you really know you have a clear channel? You know you have a clear channel based on how much dark you've been able to heal. If you haven't done your healing, I would question what you're connecting to. I'm being honest, I'm being honest. I, I've been I've been healing since I was 16. I'm now I'm up to 44 in a few days. Okay, we have fear of change here. Okay, we have the tower in reverse. We have the page of pentacles. We have temperance and we have the three of uh, pentacles. So this masculine is knowing their contract with the dark, knowing that they need to bring balance, the three of pentacles, knowing that there is an offer here to change, but they have a fear of this change. They are recovering, they are holding patience and they are loving themselves. What is this fear of change? They're afraid of what's going to be manifesting. They're entrapping themselves. They're, they've got the 10 of uh, wands in reverse. They are entrapping themselves. They're ending old burdens, but they have a still a fear of this change that's coming because they have a wish. They wished for something and there's something coming through with an ace of wands and it's happening very quickly. This ace of wands is happening fast and they're like, whoa, that's what's bringing the fear up here. This is making them rise up into a divine masculine energy. Woo, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Let's see. What is this masculine healing in the heart with their covenant, with their dream, with the dark? They're rising into a masculine energy. They're definitely healing. What did we say? We're in recovery here, right? Love the synchronicities. All right, let's do the next one. What is going on with divine masculine energies? Addiction to alcohol, praying that this can end. They're praying. A lot of these masculines have been praying. Prayer is, I swear by prayer. That's however you pray. Spirit hears you, and it's a vibration. And it's not, let's just clarify that too. We're praying this through. Prayer is not just asking for what you want and then feeling in a place of like, Please, I'm begging you, I want this, or I'm, I will do this, or sacrificing yourself. It's about having a real conversation, like it was a person, and hearing what spirit is, and allowing the comfort to come in. It's an interchangeable back and forth. You have to go back, hit me up. It's an interchangeable back and forth, okay? Um, spirit saying, let's look at the bottom. So, addiction to alcohol, their relationship. This is not a, this is a karmic situation addicted to alcohol, okay? But there's some drinking, a relationship they've been waiting for to end this. This has been a, a, a long-term um, addiction for these masculines, but they may not have even said anything to the feminines, okay? But there's definitely something going on with addiction that they want to end this conflict, which is why they can't come forward and offer any sort of love. These masculines are on the brink of really healing this, okay? Not to say that there won't be slip-ups down the road, but there's definitely a break that I'm seeing. Yeah, they're letting things go. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, they're coming close to the finish line. Four of Wands is not just about union, guys. That is such a simple way to read Tara. It's not just about union. It's not just about marriage. It's about coming to the end of a finish line. It's like finally ending something and being like, oh my God, I am actually like close to this and we're going to celebrate the hell out of this. Because you know how good it is when you heal? so good right yeah unrequited love they know that they aren't able to give that unrequited love yet to the feminine energy so um they're waiting because they're they're still healing and so they're completely aware um let's see what's going on in regards to like where are they in regards to offering something in their actions towards feminine they're in the place of surrendering to the divine which is what we had Where's that card? <laughs> At the beginning of the read, right? Surrendering to the divine. That's exactly what the mask was doing. Anything else with their actions? They're surrendering. They're using music to maybe open the heart chakra, to get into the vibration of surrendering, and to get into the vibration of love. Beautiful. All right, let's see what is going on. <laughs> <laughs> with the um with the outcome here sorry i just have a little uh a little thought to myself <laughs> this they are dealing with abandonment issues their own victim mentality here of their own abandonment issues so let's take a look 
that's the cycle that keeps you stuck in addiction as well. It's like feeling bad for yourself and just realizing, you know what, we all came here, we all fell, it's really hard and um, you're doing it. You're doing it. Be kind to yourself as you heal. We are, we are our hardest on ourselves, to be honest, okay? This one came out, justice as I'm saying that, okay? So be kind with the justice that you've been doing the work, healing these kinds of things. It can take years, you guys. I can't tell you the amount of trauma that I went through. Um, it's taken me 30 years of healing, okay? <laughs> like that's how, yeah, 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 okay? That's like healing ancestral stuff. Okay, we have here four of cups in reverse coming out of apathy, making proper decisions, unfinished business, okay? Making the proper decisions to end victim mentality and to end abandonment issues and any unfinished business, this masculine energy, narcissism, okay? Ending heartbreak and putting an end to all of this for a brand new beginning, all right? Ace of Pentacles, wow, is there anything else that we can say about that? I think that's pretty clear, but it's fair to say. Yeah, they put a halt. Things have halted right now because Divine Masculine is really in a place of um, going into that hermit mode, okay? All right, we're going to take a look at Divine Feminine in a minute. They're in place of moderation, which is number five, which is also change. So they are, yeah. They're ready for an, event, an adventure of their individuality. Five, 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 five. The fives came up in the last reading that didn't report. So uh, yeah, lots of change, um, lots of adventure, lots of individuality, figuring out themselves. It's really beautiful. All right, so that's where masculines are at. They're coming out of their karmic. They're not deep in the karmic. They're really healing. They're coming out of it. They're looking at what they desire. They have a little bit of fear of being trapped still, um, as the new energy comes in, because freedom is very important to divine mass. Well, they're important to evolve souls. <laughs> um, your freedom is, you know, your freedom of everything, freedom of the system, freedom of, of uh, the darkness, freedom of your addictions. You know, we are here to implement this journey is everything. You know, it's, it's balancing all of your four elements, which is mind, body, uh, heart, your physical body, sorry, I said all that, mental, psychological, but we're also here to heal um, all of that is with spirit, which is the fifth element, right? Divine feminine, what are we doing with divine feminine? <sighs> what karmic situations is divine feminine dealing with spirit? And we're gonna take a look at maybe some um, energies afterwards. <coughs> In regards to, um, yeah, the masculine and feminine uh, new vibrations moving into the new vibration. This is divine feminine energy spirit. Ooh. Divine feminine energy, thank you. And on with divine feminine energy, thank you. One more. Thank you. All right. Oh, we already had it for so that's interesting. They gave me this one. We'll stick it with the neglect. Okay. Divine feminines dealing with disillusionment. Okay. So this is really about what's really for you. Have you been making up a story? Am I meant to be with this person? Am I meant to be in this job? Am I meant to be? whatever it is, there's been a disillusionment. And feminines tend to do that because we're so sensitive. We get lost in our feeling places. And so we don't understand the actual discernment of what's coming in from mind patterns or coming in from spirit. Masculines have that too, but feminines really, I notice get lost in all of this daydream stuff. Um, it creates a big disillusionment and especially psychics who have that vision but they attach to an outcome. It's like really to allow the outcome to go into how to learn how to work with the energies in the process of your vision. Um, visions are given to you as um, encoding, as how spirit works. It's not just the vision is real. It's like, it, it is real. It's another form of a timeline that you may be connected to, but there's medicine in that. And it's how to learn to use the medicine of the energies that are coming into your third eye to use it for your present moment to heal any situations and patterns. That's what 
That's what feminines get lost in, okay? Feeling, hoarding, okay? Hanging on to old things, okay? Your action is verbal abuse. And I feel that's also verbal abuse to either other people, um, children, your own kids, truck guys, trust me, I lose my shit with my children. <laughs> I'm, I'm not perfect, you guys, completely. Like, it's, it's hard when you have to do every single thing, right? I've done every single thing. I don't have help from their father. Are you kidding me? So there's, <laughs> when you have to do everything and I've got them two years apart. Yeah. Yeah. Old patterns that I have, and I come from, and I've healed massive amounts of karma in my lineage. Yes. Your patterns are going to come up. You cannot feel bad about that, but you can take ownership for that. And this verbal abuse is coming up because feminine energies do that. Feminines fly off the handle. I hate to say it, but they do. Okay. Feminine energies fly off the handle. My dad says it all the time. You know, it's like, have you ever seen a chicken with its head cut off? Yeah. That's a feminine who's gone absolutely insane. It's learning how to balance those energies and using it and noticing where the patterns are coming up. Okay. And then really working on that. So feminines are having a difficult time with that. We have spellbound with neglect. So there's a lot of neglect and abandonment issues that are coming up that are putting this all down for feminine energies. Okay. So let's get a little deeper. So what is going on? Feminine energies, disillusionment. What is going on? We're going to do this one a little bit different. What's going on with feminine energy spirit? Thank you. I'm move this forward a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm like, I'm so antsy, and because there's no gem here, I am like going insane. I can't like really work out because someone complained that I was like working out and jogging in my freaking condo. And it's like, you can't do anything. Like, I'm so over yoga. Like, what is yoga? I want to get back to my weights. Like, seriously. All right, let's take a look. We have the Queen of Swords with disillusionment. Okay, we have Five of Wands with hoarding. We have the Ace of Wands with verbal abuse. That's not passionate fiery mouth okay we have the six of wands victory and success out of neglect okay queen of swords clarifying we have the knight of cups in reverse she can't give either feminists can't give either right now they're in a disillusion they're trying to get very clear where they're disillusioned in their life they're trying to end really old patterns and i feel they are more ahead than the masculines are at this time they are fighting right now their truth, okay, what they're hoarding, what they're hanging on to. They, some of the feminines are not wanting to look at what the truth is. And this is why I did this whole thing with the Twin Flame channel that you guys, that I just put that out there, if you're, if that's the last video I did. Um, yeah, it's like twins aren't necessarily meant to be together it, it that's really up to god but then a lot of i see in the twin flame community people like hanging on to this connection it's like heal it and move on if you're meant to be god will bring those two together but if not you have a life partner that's coming for you and this is like a suppression of truth here that's happening here um that's a fighting battle here okay of hanging on to feminines are still hanging on to things that aren't serving and this new age of aquarius is bringing you deeply into your calling okay we have verbal abuse a very passionate new beginning about verbal abuse though but not being honest okay feminists need to look at this verbal abuse and it also could be to self not everyone deflects their verbal abuse could be a lot of like self-judgments to self as well about how you speak to yourself that you may not even be aware of, okay? Victory and success of neglect. Yeah, revealing a lot of the uh, the high priestess in reverse, winning, working through the dark and realizing where the neglect is. So these feminines, no, they can't offer anything. They're getting very clear where their disillusionment. They're aware also of this verbal abuse and their dishonesty with themselves. And they're really working through it. They're coming up strong in this, really and um healing this and um what i want to clarify here is this five of wands with this ace of swords in reverse holding strength see they're still abandoning certain truths here of where they're hoarding in their heart so feminines what i'm seeing is like there's still some deep healing that needs to happen here and getting a little bit more honest of where we're still clinging to the past you know um I can tell you like even recently like you know i i've completely let my whole connection 
go. Um, sometimes we can't know fully, you guys, of what is coming for us. But I can tell you, the deeper that you surrender and release, the more things start to blow up in your life. And we don't always know what's best for us. Spirit knows what's best for us, okay? So let's see what's going on here with this abandonment issue. Yeah, look at this. Charging fully ahead, the chariot and the knight of swords. As I'm saying that, holding strength in your own abandonment issues. We have two fives here. This came up for the masculine in the last week that did not report. Okay, so it's like massive change. Five of pentacles and five of wands, okay? In the heart space of where you, we've been suppressing truth. Protecting our truth as well. And also any confusion. We're moving through that divine feminines really quickly and holding a really strong stance. Knowing that in the mind, you're working through the dissolution, you can't offer anything right now. Oops, what was happening? <laughs> can't offer anything right now, okay? Not giving, getting over fears and 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 the doubts, okay? And the renewal of, of what's happening here. So this verbal abuse, yeah, offers, okay? Looking in, and, and what is the seven of swords? Just give me a second. Seven of swords, yeah. Healing, coming out of a hermit mode, okay? And healing and coming towards destiny, not wearing a mask anymore. That yes, I had to deal with this verbal abuse stuff and, and healing that. And there's a new offers are coming through for divine feminine with our new passionate plan, path as they've healed this verbal abuse, okay? And that could be, again, external or internal. And usually it can, it can also be both, okay? So let's see, the revealing that this feminine is really coming up strong, victory and success, ending old celebrations, any type of like partying or friendships or relationships that are happening in their life and standing their ground very strong, working their way up to the top of that mountain. Yeah, this is masculine energy, but it's like narcissism and stuff like that. Anything that does not, that's not clear and precise, they're standing their ground on that. Completely standing their ground on that. Did I do this for the masculines? I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> I did, like, did I? Did I channel? I don't even know what's happening. Right? I'm not a biological thing. So let's take a look at this and then we will see um, some future energies, possible future energies that are coming for the masculine and the feminine energies. I think I like doing the readings just for you guys so you guys can actually feel my energy as I'm doing this. And um, yeah, I actually really like this a lot better, to be honest. Let's take a look. What is going on with divine feminine energies, please? For the mind, please. Mind, heart, action, and outcome. Mind, heart, action, and outcome. All right. All right, Divine Feminine, this disillusionment, we're expanding, expanding out of that. Complete expansion, okay? We have throat chakra galore here, okay? We have, I'll show you. The heart space, working hard on that heart space, okay? Anything that's suppressed, working hard on that. Allowing the change to happen, moving through it. The chariot and the knight of uh, swords, right? Verbal abuse, but also knowing that we're on a path that we are healing our internal judgments, our external um, per expression of verbal abuse, okay, to others and the verbal abuse within ourselves and also ending that shame pattern, right, within ourselves. And also we have throat, right, complete like throat chakra. Um, speaking, communicating, being honest, being like, you know, this is me. This is it. You don't like it. See you later. And that's just how it is. So we have perseverance, passion, moving towards your passion, creating that lifestyle, knowing what you want. Beautiful. I think I did this for masculines too. Yeah. I <laughs> sorry, guys. I don't remember, but if I didn't, I'm so sorry. If I go back and watch this video, I'm so sorry. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. I'll just be like every YouTuber. Let me know in the comments below. How did this? Did I do that for the divine masculine? <laughs> If I did it, I'll pull, I'll pull a card and post it in the comments, okay? Let's see. What is this divine feminine spirit? Thank you. Divine feminine energies. Whoa, one flipped. Intuition. So divine feminine is really using intuition. What's going on in the mind? Beautiful. Look at this. Divine masculine, divine feminine mirroring. I'm going to tell you that. Oh, my good Lord. Two more. My cards are getting so old. All right. 
They're, they're healing too, just like masculine energy. Divine feminine coming to an ending here. Happy ending in the mind of disillusionment of anything of the mind patterns of where you haven't been clear. You're not given to that anymore. Okay. We have music here in the heart space, listening to music, staying in your vibration. Again, I get messages from spirit. You guys can follow me on Spotify if you want. Just yeah, a lot of people follow me for my medicine music on there. I have um messages from spirit that whenever I'm out and about, I shazam things. I'm like, oh, this song feels good. I'm gonna just shazam it. And it's always something that's happening in my life or a message that I need to hear. So spirit really brings a lot of that stuff through. Start getting into that, start feeling that out more. We have domestic harmony here, verbal abuse in your home owning your stuff, knowing where there is, you know, where you're uh, expressing that to others, or you're doing that within yourself, and you're holding and biting your tongue, and you're holding an internal judgment. That is healing as well. Healing, perseverance through all of these patterns, okay, which is, you know, becoming up strong, victory and success, and ending these patterns. Yeah, really good, Divine Feminine. Yeah, they're really mirroring Divine Masculine, but Yin Yang energies are definitely mirroring to come into a deeper place of connection, right? Remember, it doesn't have to be labeled twin flame, right? Again, listen to the last channel that I did, okay? It's not attached to an actual person, this energy, okay? It's an attraction of, yeah, your blueprint. All right. Let's take a look at some energies in regards to what is coming for the masculine and feminine energies. And I want to use this one. I'm going to do some oracles. This one. Mm -mm. No. Sorry, guys. But yeah, this deck here. All right, all right, let's take a look. What is going on? Some healing messages for divine masculine and some healing messages for divine feminine. And that will be your energy update. I will be doing the prediction soon, guys. I haven't decided when I'm going to do, uh, how I'm going to do it, um, because apparently now, this is changing how I'm doing this too. So <laughs> always lots of changes. All right. What is going on with divine masculine energies and healing messages and possible vibrations that are coming spirit for masculine energy? Okay, I've got three. So masculine energy, we have Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Big mission here for these divine masculines, okay? Double mission means that it's you and a sacred partner. And um, usually it's like how you interconnect with other, other uh, connections that are in that same tribe family in order to bring um, a very strong calling down. We also have here the pillar of light, which is your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Beautiful. Their intuition is kicking in hardcore with these divine masculines okay we have that they are being well protected right now because they're on they're like coming into a brand new um balance aspect because if you can see sorry my water bottle <laughs> the divine feminine um sorry guys my bottle is going to like completely I have to pick it up or it's going to like leak everywhere oh my dear my god my life. Okay, so divine feminine energies. Um, yeah, thank you. Take me back to it. Yeah, so they're coming in tandem with the divine feminine energies. And you'll see that if you are in contact with your divine masculine, you'll see that things start to shift very, very, very quickly um, because it's speeding up. It's like one will learn, the other will learn like that. One, be, one will learn, then the other. It's like a back and forth. We have protection. Call back your power, cut the cords, and soul retrieval. So this masculine is really calling back power, ending the covenant with the dark, right? Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see what's going on with Divine Feminine Energies. What's going on with Divine Feminines? We'll also take three cards. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take the one that flipped up. Well, Divine Feminines are just saying yes. Just say yes. They're saying yes to whatever's coming their way. They're like, hell yeah. 
all right, this vibration, this work partner, this partner, this friend, this event, this whatever, they're like, yes, I got this. Play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. They're ready to have some fun. These are my feminists have done their feeling. So they've come up, they're just at the brink of just like ending a lot of this. They're like, I'm ready to have some fun in my life. I'm ready. That was heavy lifting, heavy lifting. We have Mintakin, which is a beautiful like Garden of Eden, somewhere else, longing for home, belonging their original life workers that's why i work with people who are highly awakened okay because you are the new leaders of the new earth the divine feminines pulling in the new vibration beautiful knowing that you are longing for home and belonging but you are the original light workers and you are here on a very important mission and you know that so all right let's take a look at divine masculine energies we're going to take some star seed cards and that is going to be your routine you guys don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video if you actually like me um better like this and doing the readings let me know or if it's better on top and you can see the cards i kind of like it this way i feel like i'm actually talking to you guys i feel more interactive and i feel better to be honest yeah, I don't get myself to so. i'm just kidding well, I don't look at myself well, too, right? <laughs> That's what I say. All right, let's take a look at what's going on with divine masculine energy. What is going on here? Can we please send some messages? Aha. Yes, you are divine masculine. And that's funny because I'll tell you what happened with the third card. Advancement. A strong energy is propelling you forward. Follow the stirrings of your heart. Advancement coming into their double mission. They are releasing, again, that came up um, in the beginning of the read. We have release anything that ke keeps you from your path of authenticity. Beautiful. They are the pillar of light. Your vibration is rising, okay? This popped up as you guys saw. I was shuffling one flipped up. It was this card, celebration. Celebrate your achievements. You truly are a gift to the universe. That's exactly what you are and you're protected divine feminine what is going on with divine feminine yes and what is it that you want to play and what is it that you are longing for home all right let's take a look Whew, beautiful yes to wisdom you are wise divine feminines do not doubt that any work when you go into your dark when you heal that stuff you gain wisdom to bring to the world you are here to bring this wisdom to the world, okay? See your adver adversities as opportunities to expand your spiritual wisdom, okay? We have star seed, play, have fun, celebrate, don't be serious. Raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant, vibrant, loving light. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to claim that one too. It's like, this is how I like actually am, is like, I'm quite like, high, like I'm like this all the time. Even when I worked in the government, like, like, it is weird. Yeah, this is how I am. This is actually how I am. So star seed, I can, I irritate people with low vibration. I have an ex who'd be like, you're so annoying. And I'm like, yeah, it's because you're a demon. So <laughs> literally, um, we have inner world. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. Beautiful. I know, you know, I don't want to put her down. Like, completely was a person that I needed in my life to be able to come to this point. So thank you for that. Thank you for being the dark person that you are. Um, inner world. Your external world is a reflection of your... And this is what I was getting here with this Mintak in here. Longing for home. The original light workers. You have a vast knowledge of where you've come from. And so the more that we go in and we heal, we were able to access those areas. Okay? So yeah, I see masculine and feminine energies really advancing, really moving forward, celebrating, accepting things as they are, coming into a really high potent place. Really beautiful stuff, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and comment. I love you guys. I think I start doing it this way because I feel so much more connected to you guys. And I'm sending you so much love. Don't forget, I have a special for reading. So if you want a reading, it's a one-hour Zoom with me. And we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.